Okay, I thought I would make another video for my mother's series <laughs> and this one about our Heavenly Mother and my little one is with me, <laughs> which I think is perfectly appropriate uh, because she nurtures each of us like the little child that we are <laughs> and um i think they are infinitely patient and encouraging of us but especially her she is absolutely perfectly loving and uh, judgment is not part of her I guess people use the term wheelhouse at least in my experience like I remember this one time I was um, I was going through a time of deep repentance and just just clearing stuff out like just just trying to get really clear and free and so I was speaking with Heavenly Father and Jesus and the Holy Ghost and my Heavenly Mother this was like very many years ago <laughs> and so I was speaking with each of them and just um, you know reporting back and and counseling with each of them about the things that I was letting go of and um, yeah apologizing for and and as I spoke with each of them, they gave feedback and, and action steps. But with my mother, she would just listen and, and hold me. And uh, it was just a very different, it was a very different feeling and, than, with, than with my father's. And so I finally asked her, like, please, if you have instruction or correction or action steps for me, please, I, I'm, I'm ready to receive them. I, I, I want to, um, be free and clear and, and at peace and well, I don't, I don't want to have these things. And so if you have something that you need to say, like, say it you know kind of just inviting that 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 judgment and correction that I was receiving from my father's and she just so graciously so lovingly with such mercy and dignity let me know that that was not her place that that kind of repentance that I was doing with my father's wasn't part of her role with me. And that was just <laughs> such a paradigm shift for me as a mother um, to, to stand in love and listening and and to lead by example and obviously like it's not like I never give correction to my children or never give <laughs> instructions or action steps to my children but it's just a very different mentality to just say okay I'm not here to tell you the things that you did wrong and what you need to do to make up for it or whatever um <laughs> she's getting restless with this little um, but it is my place to listen and, and to hold you and to hold space for you as you recognize who you are and who you don't want to be so that you wouldn't ever do that again. Oh, do you want to play with this straw? No. Do you want something else to do? I don't know how much longer this is going to last. Uh, 
And I've also had times of absolute glorious, I mean, unspeakable, unspeakable experiences with my mother to show me who I am. I remember the first time that I watched Frozen 2 with my little daughter or Moana. Um, with my kids, I was just like, yep, that is my lived experience, literal lived experience with my mothers. And, um, yeah, <laughs> it is, it was, um, uh, overwhelmingly wonderful to see that portrayed on a screen and to know that I was not alone in that and that millions of children around the world were seeing that as a possibility. I mean, what else can we learn from but from stories and the lived experience of others that they share? And so just to know that she's there and that it's possible. And there's so much, at least in my community, there is so much being written and sung and painted and drawn and created about her, about our Heavenly Mother and about our likeness of her. And I think I shared this maybe in another video, but um, I had this experience where um, one of my little kids brought this picture to me and they were like, look, I drew this of you. And I was like, wow, you know, it's just like a little circle with two dots and a little a smile, no nose, no ears, no hair and lines coming out of the circle, like for arms and legs. And I was like, this is adorable. Thank you so much. I love it. And like, I kept it and just felt so happy that they drew this picture of me. And then I had a dream of our heavenly parents sitting there and someone came up to them and gave a, a, a drawing, a painting to them of this elephant that had like six arms, like in a yoga pose. And our mother was like, tell me about your drawing. And they said, it's you. And she was like, it's me. Thank you. I adore this. I will hold it dear. And I just woke up from that and was like, yep, it's about right. <laughs> like they, they accept our true devotion. They are just so gracious. And of course she would love us in, in any way that we love her. She would receive that. So uh, she is perfectly paired with our father. And I think I need to listen to my little one. And end this very short video. <laughs> I know that she is there and waiting with open arms to receive each of us whenever we are ready to remember her. So, please do. <laughs>